Okay, so viewers, we are back to being in tune. And as we said at the start, we started a whole session last week with Onika Henry. And one of the things that we want to first let us assure you that that work is going to continue. Because just as Jen had said in the earlier session, the first step to assessing anywhere that you are is to understand you. What is the current condition? And if any of you all have done any of our programs, if you have done the essential, which you just looked at, or any of the others, you will know we always start by asking what's going on with you. We, as an experienced cohort, the 5.8G cohort, we know when we were in the workplace, when we, when we looked at our children, we did, they just walked into the, the, the room and we knew, okay, something's up. And the first thing you have to do when you are facing any situation or challenge is to say, what is going on now? Because if you don't understand what's your current situation, then you're likely to take very wrong steps. Now you might make the, first, the correct first step, but it might be in the wrong direction or you might be facing the right direction, but you're taking the wrong step. And that's the essence of how we are going to help you with being in tune as we go forward. Last week, we started with the issue of ourselves and our bodies, our sensuality and our sexuality. And we believe that it is so very important because so much of why we find it difficult to adjust to being on the third act. Even to admit that I am 50, I am 60, I'm 62, I am 73, I am 84. That whole hang up with our age is the, the, the first thing that says that we are not in tune with who we are and what we are about. And it is why we, Jennifer and I, think it is so very important to, some people were surprised by the frankness and directness of the discussion with, with Onika. Some people opened their eyes when they saw the models come up, both of them, the male and the female. And some comments were, Wow, this, this is important information. Boy, all you're brave. Woo, woo, woo. Some people just didn't know how to express, but everybody admitted and confirmed that the discussion was about a subject that everyone is interested in, but so many of us are afraid to, reluctant to get into because we're very concerned with what other people may think about us because we, we thinking about ourselves or we very concerned with still keeping up appearances or keeping up an image, which really has nothing to do with the stage that we're at. And so we started with that discussion, but I want to bring us back to understanding, being in tune with yourself so that you would understand the direction that Jen and I will be taking over the next three weeks as we get into a whole different section, okay? Because if we, and, and first let's talk about how do we know that we are not in tune with ourselves? Let's do some little checks. Something is happening out there and it's different to what we would normally do or it's different to what we think acceptable. So what's, our, what's your first reaction? Sometimes it's <laughs> judgment. Look at that person. Look at what he or she is doing. When, like happened on our show last week, a lot of us would have been, oh my God, but not admitting 
that we are secretly admiring another person's strength to stand on their belief, go and explore what they want to explore, and not be afraid to break from a habit that they've had to carry that they might not have liked all their lives. So we want to say to our 50 plus cohort, just as Jennifer said in the dollar savvy, the pandemic has caused a complete shift in our economies. And we are going to be the casualties because as they say, you have to focus on the productive sector. So she's right, get those checks. But if we are also not in sync and honest with who we are, if we are not willing to have an open and honest discussion as um, Onika talked about, being very truthful about the concerns we have with our own self. Last week, we talked about our sexuality and sensuality. It's all over. It's you're afraid to admit your age. Um, you're afraid to, of, of your body image. And, and unfortunately, these are the things that really ties up women. A lot of women have those issues. Doesn't mean that men don't have the issues. They, they, they sit in silence and suffer, or some people get aggressive and begin to be more macho than they need to be, or well, not understanding. Some hit out and decide to disrupt their their homes and their lives and we call it midlife crisis and you end up with divorce you end up with affairs you end up with all kinds of things and we both as a community just because we don't want to have that honest conversation to make sure that our minds are synchronized we end up the only thing we could really pretend to continue it is what we knew that second act stage, which is totally out of sync with where we are. And in the world as it is coming, it's a very big change. We are a significant cohort. We the 50 to 80 cohort. We are wisdom, we are experience. We have to be strong enough to say, this is how we want to live our lives. We have to be not ashamed of what our desires and our ambitions are. And we'd, we have to be less concerned about what another person or another group is doing and be honest about what do I want to do and what do I have to do to achieve it. So that in this new pandemic, whatever the social outcomes are, whatever the economic outcomes are. We as individuals are in tune. So we at Jennifer and I are working through with Onika and some other professionals to put together some programs to help us to go through those steps to really be in tune with who we are. Now, no, you're not, we're not going to have you in a group of the <laughs> directed um, practice exploring your sexuality with a lot of strangers. We are not going to do that. But we are going to develop programs that will help us to do a good self-examination to get us in a place to at least recognize, just like Jennifer said, you have to recognize yourself economically to get recognized, let us recognize who we are as individuals and decide on the direction that we want to go in. Because we don't want to be stepping forward onto the third act stage totally out of tune because we either made the wrong step or we stepped in the wrong direction. So I just want to reinforce and to give everyone the assurance that we know we're going on to the third act stage. Our instruments might be fully in tune, but one thing you can be very assured of is Connections 50 Plus, Jennifer and I are going to be working with you and the entire cohort to make sure that we all get there and we all truly have the best time of our lives. So this is a short being in tune. 
to help you to get your mind oriented to where we want to go. We know you're excited. We know you're tuned in. We're happy and we want you to stay that way. So keep listening and very soon you're going to get all the information you need to remain in tune and enjoy the third act, the best years of our lives. Great.